Welcome back to New England Crypto and East Coast Hardware. My name is Matthew. We are a crypto mining family. In today's video, we are going to be diagnosing and hopefully fixing this 12 GPU crypto mining rig. She currently has nine 588 gigs, two 590s, and a 6600 Hellhound. With a BTC B250C mining motherboard with 12 USB ports directly on the mining motherboard to eliminate PCIe adapters. Huge shout out to our friend Rondi for sending this one to us and putting me on to these. I've been loving them. This rig also has both an EVGA 1600 watt P2 Supernova ATX power supply as well as a platinum rated HP server power supply to help balance the load with the power and give enough connections for all the cards and risers. And we've got a basic but sufficient 120 gig PNY SSD with high flashed on it. This whole rig has been running really well and almost non-stop for seven months since we did the original rig build video back in April. Recently, though, we've been plagued with too many unprompted reboots, way too many GPU overheating warnings, and a few other issues that we need to look into. So I figured why not make this into a video taking you all along the journey with me. We'll get her plugged in, we'll assess the main issues, and we'll see if we can get her fixed, back up and running, and hashing away again. We've got some power supplies over here as backup. We have some power cables, and we've even got some RX 580s that are ready to get hashing if needed. Let's do this. First, we need to plug in one of our pre-assembled meter boxes so we can check the wattage and make sure everything's all good with that. Then we're going to get internet from the rack over to the motherboard, and then plug in the two power supplies. I always start with the server power supply because I want those GPUs to be powered up before we turn on the motherboard. All right, let's go ahead and get the meter box plugged into the cabinet. I love these pre-assembled meter boxes. All right, let's get our fired up. Ethernet to the motherboard. Server power supply power. Sorry for covering the hole with my hand like an idiot. And then we've got the ATX power supply. As you can see, I've got a program to turn on with power. And I'm already hearing some funny noises. Give me a minute to check these out and I'll be right back with you. All right, I spent a few minutes and I went through and made sure that none of the power cables or anything were touching the GPU fans or anything that they weren't supposed to be because of these awful noises. But as you can see, we've got a couple of fans that are having huge problems. I think I'm going to pull that GPU before those fans come flying off and hurt somebody or break something. And then we'll see what else we're dealing with. All right, and before we take anything apart, I wanted to show you guys that all 12 GPUs did show up in Hive just fine. All right, we removed the problem GPU, or at least the first problem GPU. Now we're gonna fire her back up again, see what other issues we've got. There's no way it was just one problem. That never happens. She does sound much better this time already even. Oh, 
All right, here's a little bit of frustrating but very good knowledge, especially for beginners. If you see, Hive says we're using 719 watts. It is showing the 11 GPUs that we have on the rig. We are mining Monero, random X, with the CPU as well. But if we come over here and take a look at the meter box that we have plugged in, you will see that we're actually pulling 1,000 184 watts including the motherboard gpu these two other fans and the cpu mining so definitely keep that in mind whenever you're planning power supplies or checking your watts on hive or anything like that all right as you can see we've had the rig up for over 11 minutes now all 11 gpus seem to be hashing pretty happily I think now we should take the rig out into the warehouse, give her a full blow down, wipe her out, make sure everything's nice and tight, get her back up and hashing, maybe throw one of those other XFX 580 cards that Mrs. New England Crypto already repatted and repasted in this slot right here, and see how we make out. Let's go. All right, guys, we got the rig out into the warehouse. We got the X power blower all plugged in and ready to go. Now let's clean this rig up. All right, she's looking much better now. After a big blowout like that, I always recommend giving her a full wipe down and checking all the connections as well as making sure you don't have any wires touching the GPU fans. So I'm gonna go ahead, take care of all that and throw one of the other new GPUs that I haven't been running in this slot right here. All right, we went over the whole rig. We wiped everything down. We replaced the 580 that was no good. We've got that one over in the stack from Mrs. New England Crypto to repad and repaste. Now we're going to get this thing plugged back in, fire it back up, make sure we don't have any other issues. So far, so good. Everything should be kicking on in one moment. All right, the whole rig's back up and hashing and she sounds so much better. I did have a couple of loose connections that I found. Hopefully that was part of the rebooting issues that I was dealing with before. I'm going to let her run for a little bit, check Hive, make sure she's still all good. Check the meter box over here. 1,369 watts. Yeah, buddy. All right, so it's about an hour later, and I've got some good news and some bad news turned to good news. The rig's running awesome now. It was running really good for a little while before. But then we kept having a GPU that would have an issue, and the rig would have to reboot, like what was going on before. But I figured it out. This right here is the error code that I kept getting. It took me quite a while to figure it out, but every time that error code came up, this little green light would go out. And that would make the GPUs connected to this server power supply glitch out real quick, making the motherboard glitch out real quick, making the whole rig glitch out real quick. 
Luckily, I had gotten a package not too long ago from our friends over at Parallel Miners, and I got a new breakout board, so I swapped it out real quick. This is the bad one right here. I'll leave a link down in the description below in case anybody else needs these. That's definitely something else to keep your eye out for. Okay, she's been up and running for almost a half an hour now. After all the changes, we'll give a quick refresh. All 12 GPUs are showing up, hashing happily. The rig itself looks and sounds awesome. So I think that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all very much for joining us. Please like and or subscribe on the way out. and We will see you on the next one.